Hello, everybody. We're live at the Pace Studios with Nikki Bloom. Nikki, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having us. Brian. Yeah, totally. We've we've crossed paths a number of times in the past, going all the way back to there's a Swedish American Hall show back in 2008. There was Whoa. the the uh, Lincoln Hall uh, with that School of Rock thing, the Newport Folk Fest. So many yeah. times, we've crossed paths, and we're stoked to finally host you here um, in our home at this studio. So thanks for coming. Thanks for having us. Yeah. So you've got three songs to play off of the current album, To Rise, You Gotta Fall. Um, yep. It's out now on Compass Records. And can you tell us a bit about the first one you're going to do? Yeah, we're going to start with a song called uh, Battle Chain Rose. And um, it was just one of those songs that came to me on a super restless night, just like ruminating thoughts of my new reality and kind of coping with that. And I'll let the song say the rest. Right. Last night I slept in the middle of the bed Moved only inches but it was miles in my head I hadn't been on your side in a very long time And the wind in your heart hadn't blown you to mine I am
Thank you to our live audience. Well, that was outstanding, and you all sound outstanding doing it together. Can we take a second to introduce the band? Yeah. Um, So I recently moved to Nashville and um, was lucky enough to meet these guys. So let's see. Playing fiddle and guitar and singing today is Kellen Wenrick. Bass man, Mr. Cameron Karras. Um, Lemmy, Lemuel Hayes, back there, on percussion. Um, John McNally is playing guitar. And Jeff Adamchek is playing keys and singing. John's singing too. And of course, Nikki Bloom. Yeah on the guitar and singing. And so that the recent move, um, recent-ish, from the Bay Area to Nashville must have, I mean, clearly it worked its way into the sound of this record, just given the fact that you're playing with these guys. But are there, are there any other aspects of that place that made its way into, uh, into the record? And also, I mean, the fact that it was recorded yeah. in Memphis at, um, yeah. at uh, Sam Phillips' place has, must have woven its way into the DNA of the, of the album. Totally. Yep. So we recorded um, in Memphis, um, actually with a bunch of Memphians, Memphis musicians that producer Matt Rossbang gathered together. And Ken Coomer was the only Nashvillian who played on the record. And Ken is how I met Lemmy and Jeff. Um, and then Lemmy and Jeff kind of found the rest of the guys. Um, but as far as recording in the sound and how it sounds different than my other records, I think it's just... I don't know. I feel like when you go somewhere new, I when I went in to record this record, I really wanted the only baggage that I carried into the session to be the words I was writing. I was really looking forward to like a new experience and playing with new people and people I hadn't met and um and Matt did a great job of selecting the musicians and like I said all but one are, are Memphians and so I think that they just there's just a laid back feel to it. And he kind of went in to describe it to me a little bit like yeah, well, before there was uh, air conditioning in the studios, you couldn't record during the day because it was just too hot. And so people would go out during the day and drink beers or whatever and come back when it was cooler, hot and a little bit drunk, which, you know, kind of parlayed into that slow, swampy Memphis thing, which makes a lot of sense. Like, just the environmental factors that play into how you play music right. and, ge- you know, geographically. Um but yeah, I don't know. It's interesting being in the South. I'm, I've lived in California my whole life, so it's just nice to try new things. Well, the sound check has sounded outstanding, and so we're looking Thank forward you. to hearing the second song off yeah. of To Rise, You Gotta Fall. Can you tell us a little bit about the second one you're going to do? Sure. Um, so I've, I've been going through a lot of transition, not just the move, but personally too. And um, I think this song for me was sort of a glimmer of hope within the darkness. It was like... I think I was just having a good day amongst many, many bad days. And it was sort of the first time that I had pulled my head out of the sand and felt positive about something and hopeful. And that was just like good for me to hear within myself. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'm gonna be all right. I'll let the song say the rest. Clear my head 
a drought How can you no good, digging no better Ooh, you're gonna find pain on your way to pleasure Oh, it's the bumpy roads that lead you where you need to go Sounds great. Thank you for coming and doing this. I've been I've been a personal fan of your music for a long time, so I'm just I'm stoked. This is making my day. So thanks for coming and doing yeah. this. And I hope that everybody that's watching right now gets a chance to see you guys live as well. All the tour dates, of course, are up at nickybloom.com. I know you're playing here in the city tomorrow. It's Bowery Ballroom yes. tomorrow. Get your tickets. And then Floyd Fest this na next weekend. Is that this right? weekend. This weekend. Yeah. yeah. Floyd Fest this weekend. And then weekend. Nashville on Sunday. Right. Yeah, and the European dates start in October. So I think those might have got pushed to January. Okay. And have you have you been to the I'm gonna slaughter this name completely, but the Gunlock Boonshu Winery? Yes, I have. I went to one of those. That's just an outstanding day of wine and music yes. and hanging out and it's a ton of fun. So anybody in and around Sonoma, that's gonna be a ton of fun for everybody. I'm jealous of that one. It's gonna be great. Yeah. Um, how does what you do for the live shows compare to how you've arranged, have you chosen to arrange for this session? Is it a similar thing? Is it a much more? I mean, yeah, let me place Cajon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just a, it's a fuller sound. Um, Jeff's got a rig. Uh, two more keyboards. Two more lives. keyboards. Um, let me's got a full drum kit. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's this, but more rockin'. 
Well, it sounds great in this arrangement, and as does the, I haven't seen this configuration uh, play live, but I am around tomorrow night, so I'll see you out at the Bowery Ballroom. Nice. And uh, yeah, so you've got, you're going to play a third off of To Rise, You Gotta Fall, which is that's the current album out on Compass Records right now, and uh, can you tell us about the third you're going to do? Yeah, um, this, is, it's called You Can't Fool the Fool, um, and I think it's really just about trusting your intuition kind of like reflecting back looking back at my past self um and realizing had i trusted myself more <laughs> um and gone with my gut um i would have probably been right about a lot and i think that um it's a good reminder for me moving forward as a woman or a man or whoever trust yourselves um and trust your intuition
<clears throat> Thank you. Thank you for coming and sharing these three songs with us. Those were all, uh, to anybody just tuning in, those were three off of the current album, To Rise, You Gotta Fall, which is out on Compass Records now. And we might have a bonus track happening right now. Yeah. You wanna do it? <laughs> okay. All right. Um, well, let me tell you, this is kind of funny. You guys might think it's totally random, but we were um, playing with Bruce Hornsby last week, Bruce Hornsby and the Noisemakers, and I don't even know how, what, who was in the room? I mean, I think most, yeah. I think most of us, it was totally unprompted. Yeah, and he, he just came in. Just poked his head in and said, I'll give you guys a hundred bucks if you open the show with Eye of the Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like five minutes before we were about to go on, and we just like, obviously didn't do it at that moment, but... We can do it now. We whipped it up, Bruce. This is for you. <clears throat>
That was awesome. This whole session was awesome. Thank you for coming and playing three songs off the current album, Off to Rise, You Gotta Fall. That was a ton of fun. I think this is maybe the perfect session. One of my favorite things of all time that's ever happened here. We've Aww. done a lot of these, so thanks for coming and doing it. And uh, maybe we see you back here. I so saw you're at Summer Stage um, on, on September 5th, which is not that long from now, but if we see you again that would be outstanding we'd host you guys every week if we could Aww. and uh thank you so much for coming through and playing you guys all sounded outstanding and and travel safe and enjoy uh enjoy the tour thanks for coming thank you brad thank you paste